Mr. Atoy pointed out that many other small island developing states in the Pacific region have received support from the Green Climate Fund. He asked Minister Pundari how support could be gauged, especially for the Carteret Islands and vulnerable atoll communities in his electorate. And, and I want to remind this House that Carteret Island in my electorate and known throughout the world to be declared the first refugee island is in Papua New Guinea. And today we still haven't got any assistance from the Climate Change Fund. And I want to draw the Minister's attention to page 8 on Monday's Post Korea and the announcement of the Green Climate Fund's chairman, Mr. Owen McDonald's visit to Papua New Guinea. My question is, can the Minister advise the House by what means he will be supporting the Climate Change Development Authority, CCDA, to assist members to gain Green Climate Fund support to their districts. Minister Pundari said accessing funding support involves compliance to stringent requirements of facilities such as the Green Climate Fund. I've been in this portfolio as Minister for Climate Change for just over 18 months, Mr. Speaker, and it's never been easy going out to the... Uh, conference of the party, uh, playing our part under the leadership of the Prime Minister, securing Article 5, securing Article 9. Prime Minister Papua New Guinea has played a significant role in contributing to the efforts of the global community in a short space of time. Minister Pundari explained that PNG is not yet accredited to the Green Climate Fund, but thanked the government for its efforts in trying to help PNG achieve its goals. He said there are other available funds that PNG can access, such as those from the Asian Development Bank. Uh, the Climate Change Authority is not accredited as yet with the Green Climate Fund. That is something that we are seeking assistance from the Green Fly Climate Fund to help assist us so that going into the future we are an accredited body ourselves. But in the meantime, we've got to work with other accredited organizations and institutions like SPREP, UNDP, etc. for that matter, and it's not going to be any easier. Just last week, an MOU was signed between the Climate Change and Development Authority and the autonomous Bougainville government. The MOU was to define the roles and responsibilities of a multi-million Kina pilot program called the Building Resilience to Climate Change in PNG. The aim of the program is to mainstream climate resilience into development plans to address country priorities that focus on vulnerable communities. Deli Waigeno, National, MTV News.